Hello Ninglings, so today I was going to do a cover on my violin, but apparently my microphone is so shitty that I will not be able to do that until I get an alternative microphone. So that leaves me not knowing what to do yet again. I guess today I can talk about anarcho-communism and anarcho-pacifism and all that stuff and, and try to get some of the uh, misunderstandings out of the way. Now with any title, especially politically, you're never going to be able to completely define a person's political beliefs just with what they're called. Anarcho-communists disagree with, another, uh, with other anarcho-communists, and that happens within any political ideal. I'm no exception to this. I have a lot of anarcho-communist friends that I frequently disagree with on a lot of issues. Now, anarchism comes from the root word uh, arcos, which means ruler or leader or head or something like, you know, something to that effect. And then an, which means without, so without a ruler. And then communism comes from the same root word as you know, things like community or commune, things like that. Pacifism is a pretty well-known term. Um, I figure I don't need to explain it. It's just, you know, I don't believe in the use of violence. So anarchism is pretty much a political system that doesn't have a figurehead or a ruler. And by definition cannot have a nation state within it. So, you know, there aren't countries, but rather communities and cities and towns and things like that. It also operates on horizontal hierarchy, because without that horizontal hierarchy where everyone is, is equal, then a powerful group, small group or powerful person will come to power and it will no longer be anarchism. This means that anarchists, by definition, have to be egalitarian in the sense that they believe that Everyone is equal regardless of gender, race, sexuality, or socioeconomic class. And typically with anarcho-communists, a particular stress is put on the socioeconomic class part of that in the sense that, you know, the economic system that we use very is, is, is very important to maintain that horizontal hierarchy or equality. And of course that focus isn't only on the socioeconomic class, it's also on gender and race and all that stuff where everyone needs to be equal regardless. And that's a social thing, um, but I'm talking a bit more about economics with communism. Now the communism that most people think of when they hear the word is state communism. It's the communism that Marx talked about. It's the communism that, you know, you're going to hear about with your com communist countries uh, that kind of devolve into something ugly. It, it's state communism, and that's not the communism that I believe in at all. I, like most anarcho-communists, believe in giving the means of production to the workers and allowing them to collectively own it. I don't believe in the ownership, the ownership of private property, um, which isn't the same as personal property. People seem to think that uh, by saying that abolishing the ownership of private property, that means that we're going to take all your things and you can't own anything. That's not true. This is outlined by the difference between private property and personal property. Private property is like private business where you have a factory or something like that. The means of production, that's private property. Whereas personal property are things like my violin or my hats or things like that. Uh, things that you own in your house, that sort of thing. Anarcho-communists also believe in the abolition of currency. Uh, because it only leads to a socioeconomic class system in which some people have more power than others because they have more money than others. There's a system similar to this, except without that last bit about currency, called collectivist anarchism. And uh, Mikhail Bukunin, who is a very famous anarchist in the anarchist community anyway, uh, he, was, he was of that uh, ideology. So many anarcho-communists, at least the ones that I've talked to, believe in a uh, gift economy, which essentially means that you produce what you're able to produce, and 
you take it to a warehouse essentially where you know people will work keeping stock and you know that's cleaning and keeping track of what's there and what's not you'll essentially take it to a warehouse and if you need something you will go there and take it now because it doesn't cost any money people have have made the assumption that you know it'll be easier to just take everything but the fact is if it's not worth anything because there is no price tag on it there's no point in taking everything and people just won't do it now there are some anarchists that believe in property destruction and you know, aggressive action like that and that's typically filed under insurrectionism uh, and I'm not one of those people at all I'm not going to build anything that's going to destroy anything I'm not going to be a terrorist of any kind that's not that's not even what insurrectionism is, let alone me. There haven't really been any serious anarchist terrorists since the early 1800s, so it's not really a thing. I'm an anarcho-pacifist, which means that I don't believe in achieving an anarchist society through any sort of aggressive means. I don't think that it's a very good option. It is a it is an option that's there, and it's available, but I don't think that it, it creates a long-term society. Uh, it crumbles very quickly if you do it that way. I think the only way to, to achieve that is through education and you know talking to people about this stuff. And when society agrees with it, they'll you know do it on their own. Taking forceful measures only means that you're suppressing the non-anarchists viewpoints and that's not a very anarchist way to go about things and not only that but they're only going to live under something they don't agree with for so long now I used to be very very adamantly against any sort of aggression whatsoever but I've come to the point where I realize that there are times when there is no other option so I do have to admit that it is there as an option and a viable one at that, but only as a last resort in my opinion. I think that it should not be used if there is another option. I hope I've cleared up a few things. I don't know how well I worded things, so if you're confused about anything I said or if you have any additional questions just you know of course leave them in the comments below because I love comments so much one of these days I'll get a few of my friends on here they're a lot better at talking about this stuff than I am for the most part Becky I don't have to say your name anymore and Dylan I'll see you tomorrow Take on,